Good evening. My name is Ron Knapp, owner of My Sports Results, and I will serve as your host tonight as we welcome the Plainfield Track and Field team in our Salute to Seniors meeting. As we progress through each week this past spring, the likelihood that our seniors and their teammates would enjoy a track and field season diminished every day. After the announcement was made to cancel the spring season, I reached out to head coach Kevin Grant and offered him and his senior athletes an opportunity to connect with each other in a virtual meeting. This meeting tonight is my attempt to provide, to provide some solace to coaches and athletes during these unprecedented times by giving you an opportunity for, for everyone to gather and chat about your, your common team experiences as well as share your plans after graduation. Tonight's Salute to Seniors virtual meeting is powered by my sponsor, Soundrunner. They have stores in Brantford, Fairfield, Glastonbury, and Old Saybrook. As of today, they have reopened their stores in addition to providing or to continuing their online shopping. And as a surprise or not a surprise, uh, because I forgot if I mentioned it, um, they have also donated two uh, $50 gift cards that I will uh, send out to the coaches that you can make an online purchase uh, it, at, at Soundrunner. And then uh, whether it's a gift for the uh, athletes, how, however you, you want to spend that. So that's the, uh, their, uh, uh, you know, in light of uh, not only sponsoring my sports results, but also uh, giving us something extra for this Salute to Seniors program. Uh, I have some notes from Coach Grant uh, about this very accomplished group from Plainfield. The accomplishments include 2019 Girls State M champions in the 300 meter hurdles, the 400 meter dash, and the 4x400 relay. Additional accomplishments include a 2018 800 meter champion as well as the 4x100 meter relay runner up team. The boys' team accomplishments included the 2019 discus champion, as well as the 200 meter dash runner up and a fifth place finishers in the 1600 meter and 3000 meter steeplechase. On our call tonight, on our meeting tonight, I'd like to welcome coaches Ke Kevin Grant, uh, coach Mindy Fenley and coach Mike Lunt. Uh, uh, athletes attending, uh, and, and this, is a, this is a rarity, uh, a, a pair of twins. Uh, Izzy Newberry and Michaela Newberry, uh, Kate Carlson and Cassandra Carlson, and for the boys, I got Tyler Roberts, Louis Easton, Matt Spike, Thomas Engel, and Jacob Walton. Did I, don't think I forgot anybody. All right, so we're starting off great. Uh, now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to unmute everybody here, and uh, I'm going to throw out some questions for you to answer, and we'll try and uh, Go, go through it. Uh, one of the first questions that I wanted to ask everybody in consideration of, of, of this season that wasn't, uh, what are you going to take away from your overall high school track experience as you go forward after graduation? Does anyone want to answer? Okay, Tyler, go ahead. Oh, I'll take a play. Yeah, of course. Um, just have fun. I think that was one of the biggest uh, takeaways I could have over all my four years. Because at the end of the day, I mean, we are athletes and we are dedicated to the sport we have, but we should have fun while we're doing it. Anybody else? Izzy, I think you have something to say. Yeah, I would say create a strong bond with your team because a healthy team environment is super important. Thank you. Was that Michaela or Izzy? That was Izzy. Okay, thanks, Izzy. You're welcome. Anyone okay. else for that question? Go, Kate. Um, I think a really important piece is to ask questions because um, it's definitely confusing when you're a freshman and you don't know like what's next. Um, you know, like in terms of ECCs and then states and then New England nationals, like all the different levels. So it's important questions. Was that Kate? Was that Kate, Cassie or, or Kate Carlson? It was Kate. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna. If there's no one else, uh, I'm. Th this is the uh, the next question is uh, is what I call a softball. 
what do you love most about track and field? Anyone? Anyone? The camaraderie is my favorite. And who's who is I, that? Okay, Jake. That's um. Yeah, Tyler said the last one, but um, I think just like how nice everyone is, like, and you just have fun, at, like, especially at meets, like, you can just talk to random people, and they'll just be really friendly as well, like, while you're doing the sport, like, I feel like you don't really have that in other sports, because you don't really talk to the other team. Okay, someone else wanted to speak up? Michaela. Okay. So um, to build off of what Jake said, just the like environment that you're in and the new people that you can see and the friends that you can make, like going to those meets and just meeting a whole bunch of new people that you never would have gotten the chance to meet otherwise if you didn't do track. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to answer that one about what you love most about track and field? Grant, what do you love most about track? Well, from the coach's perspective, the thing I love is I love to see you guys uh, improve. I love to see that that improvement after all your hard work. It, it shows that it's worth it. The dedication and effort you put in just comes out in your performance and to see you improve and, um, you know, throw further, jump farther, run faster. And, and after all the hard work, um, you know, it's very rewarding to me to see that, but I, I, I really think, uh, you know, intrinsically that each one of you get so much out of that, that you see the results from your hard work and that, that's life, you know, that's a big lesson. Um, and, and if that's one thing I can teach you through sport, then it's really worth it. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything, anybody else want to comment about what they love about track and field? <clears throat> I know Finelli won't say it, but I was her favorite part about track and field. Ain't that right, Finelli? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Tyler. Well, I don't know. I was just saying, I, I never really knew Finelli. She's one of the teachers at her school, and I never really knew her on any sort of basis. I don't know. Uh, I, I share a very fond memory. I don't know if Finelli remembers because she usually forgets something I do for her. But uh, last year we had a Secret Santa gift, and I, I didn't know she was into horses, but I bought her a horse blanket, and that is when our first connection actually. Do you remember that, Finelli? I, I do remember that, yes. <laughs> I remember the, you had the biggest smile on your face ever. <laughs> Why is your face getting so red? Are you nervous? It's the lighting, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Tyler, you uh, you must have uh, read my mind because that, <laughs> because that was my next question for everybody. Tell us a favorite story about your coach. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a great one. Um, uh, I know what Kate's going to Kate, <laughs> Kate has that. one. Go, Kate, go. All right. <laughs> Izzy and Michaela, do you have something? Kate has something. All right, go ahead, Kate. So we were at a meet far away, and uh, it ran very late, and we were probably in the four by four, and Grant didn't eat all day, so ate a hot dog, and he detested hair, and it was funny, because <laughs> he doesn't eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to share a story about their coach? <laughs> I have a story. So right. my story would have to be um, Coach Mike Lunt. He's like probably one of my favorite coaches. Sorry, Grant and Finelli, but Mike has to be like one of my favorites. And uh, he's helped me out a lot with hurdles and stuff like that. And he recently got his knee replaced. <laughs> so when he just got his uh, knee replaced, I remember during indoor season, he would always joke around and try and race me and stuff like that. So. It was just funny to see him wobble around, and that's probably one of my favorite memories, just watching him wobble around trying to see after he just his knee replaced. That's a good story. Uh, I think he's giving us a demo now of just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to put you on the spot, Mike, that's all. Mike, Anyone else want to share a story about their coach, a favorite story? 
Go ahead, Jake. I got one. Uh, Go ahead, Jake. I remember on the first day, lunch uh, with a coach. I didn't really know him, and nobody no one, liked him. No one really did. And then uh, he beat Tyler in a leg lift competition. I was literally about to say that. Who won? My uh, coach. <laughs> coach, do you remember that? We coach Lunt, you, Mike. Come on. Do you remember that leg lift competition? He's trying to talk. I <laughs> we can't hear you. Oh, working. Okay. Yeah, so one he was a fairly new coach and he came in out of nowhere. No one really liked him at first. Anyone's respect yet, but <laughs> Yeah. Mike, we can't we can't hear you, Mike. What? <laughs> Oh, what happened here? I'm also in front of Did somebody leave? Uh, okay. Uh, next question I'm going to throw out to everybody. Um, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you guys mute me. Sorry. <laughs> and then I missed what you said, Izzy, because the TV came on. Oh, oh I said I remember during indoor, you'd always try and race me with your broken knee. <laughs> <laughs> you would chase me everywhere. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. And I do remember the leg lifting competition. I was going to challenge Tyler to another one this year. And then I thought we'd do a virtual one. But he, he chickened out. I chickened out. He chickened out. Yeah, you did. You know you did. <laughs> I, I, think he, I, I think he just threw, threw down the uh, gloves now. So, Tyler, you, okay. you have to respond to him later. Okay. And, and uh, let us know how, how, how that turns out. Uh, I just want the other thing I, I wanted to uh, ask everybody. Uh, it's a two part question. Uh, uh, have, have you been training? At, have you been training at all? And uh, and uh, and and if you have, um, how how are you dealing with the lack of facilities? Uh, yes. Anybody been training at all? I have been keeping. Well, there are multiple of us on the team that will be competing close to high school. And uh, kind of track and field. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Matt Speed, you want to talk about your training? <laughs> I yeah. I've been trying to. I've, it's been yeah, hard to like, try. find places I can actually go. Yeah. And well, like, uh, I've been doing a little running, trying to get to shape. Okay. Hey, um, so it, if you're not training, what are you doing with all your free time? With all your free time. <laughs> yeah, Izzy. Okay, just talk. okay. Um, I have been working nonstop. <laughs> hey, Ella. Do you, do, you want, do you want to do a shout out where you've been working? I have been working at the Danielson Zoe's. It's a restaurant. It's a local diner. I've been working there pretty much every day. Oh, excellent. That, that a way to keep busy. Yeah. Way. <laughs> I've uh, been doing a lot of schoolwork. Uh, so now that we're on there, uh, Tyler, I'm going to come back to you. Uh, what are your plans for the future uh, after you graduate? Are, are you are you going on to college? Are you are you looking uh, look, look, looking in the job market? What's what's up? You. Me. Yes. Yeah, Tyler, yes. go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I plan on um, attending Central Connecticut University, and I will be competing on the track field team. Oh, good. Good. Uh, I'll be studying business, uh, specifically, I think, international business. All right, so, it, that sounds like a good challenge. Anyone else? Go ahead, Michaela. Um, I'm Izzy. I'm going to be going to Southern Connecticut State University to run on the track team, and I'm not really sure what I want to major in yet, though, but I will still be competing after high school. Oh, good. Hey, Izzy, go, go ahead. Oh, that's Izzy. I'm Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'm going to Rhode Island College to major in nursing, and I'm going to be playing on their soccer team. That sounds exciting. And I know that Cassie and Kate were uh, 
had their hands up. Go ahead. Yeah, so I will be attending a city college in this fall, and I'm, I plan on playing both soccer and track, um, and I'm in the nursing program as well. Sounds good. I'll be going to the University of Hartford and uh, running track there, and my major is prosthetics and orthotics. Wow. Sounds like a good challenge for you. Hey, anyone else? Jake, Thomas, Matt? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Thomas. Um, uh, I'll be going to uh, Eastern Connecticut Go ahead, State Thomas. University uh, and running cross country and track and field there. Where was it again? I'm sorry. Eastern Connecticut State University. Very good. Very good. How about you, Jake? Uh, I'll be going to Quinnebog Valley Community College. Oh, good challenge. And good. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if they have any track teams. I'll definitely be trying to participate in any road races nearby. So All right. to keep active. It's a good Louis, idea. Louis, Louis, what are you trying to keep do? active. Hey, Matt, do you want to, what are your plans after graduation? Uh, uh, I'm going to University of Hartford in the fall to major in microbiology, and I'm running cross country and there as well. Well, that sounds like you'll have a full load. Yeah. Do you guys know what Louis doing yet? Did he talk to you at all, Grant? Louis. Hey, Louis. What's yeah? What are your plans uh, Louis, after graduation? Uh, why don't we unmute oh. Louis? Uh, I plan to go to Southern Connecticut State University and um, run track there, and then I'm going to study history. I want to be like a history teacher. Or a Something like that. Awesome. Sounds good. One of my favorite subjects. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask everybody, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'm going to, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everybody uh, because, I, because I'll go through and, and uh, ask everyone and then have them respond. Uh, and just so you can talk loud and clear. Um, I, 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 want, I, I want to ask you uh, one of two questions. Do you have a message that you want to leave for your teammates? Uh, or you know, what's the legacy that you want to leave for your teammates? So either you have a message that you want to leave your teammates, or what's the legacy that you want to leave for your uh, teammates? So Cassie and Kate, I'm going to start with you first. Uh, I, I'm just, I just. I just oh, unmuted you. You should you should be ready to go. Speak loud and clear. Okay. Um. For all the people, well, when we had our outdoor and track meeting, there was the biggest girls team we would have ever had, and so for everyone who is going to do track, um, that we're not seniors yet, I was I'm hoping that they do it next year, do indoor, just go for it because. I, I hope that the girls team, you know, at least stays alive because there wasn't a lot of us. So I'm hoping that um, people at least will come out and do their best because track is all about self-improvement. So I'm hoping that to Very leave good. that behind. And your sister. Um, yeah, so I, I feel the same way. I feel like uh, as a girls team, we like need growth. Um, not saying that like we, one year we had four girls on our indoor team and we made it to national. So, you know, there is strength in numbers, but there's also strength in people who have motivation. Um, and I really believe in that. So. That sounds very good. Good, good words of uh, advice for everybody. All right, Jake, I'm going to call up on you next. Uh, so either what's the message you want to leave or what legacy do you want to leave for your teammates? Um, I want to leave like a, like a good like legacy. Like I know usually like I would try to help out whoever I'm running with, like whoever's running the same race as me, I would try to cheer them up before they run because I know it gets really stressful when you're standing on the line waiting for the starting pistol. And I just want to, I want my teammates to like freshmen, juniors, sophomores, I want them to stay that way, like keep that energy. That's good. Good, good uh, advice from uh, an experienced person. Thanks. Hey Thomas, I'm going to unmute you now. What do you think message you want to leave, or what, or what's your legacy that that you want to leave? Uh, my message would probably be work hard and go far. I went from a freshman year playing baseball to being a full-on runner, and now I'm going gonna. I'm at a point in my life now where I'll be able to run in college, 
and I did it all through hard work and people around me helping me get to where I am now. Very good, thanks, appreciate it. Uh, Izzy and Michaela, you're up next. Uh, hold on, all right, it. you're good. I'd say the message that I would give to uh, one of my teammates was to be, to probably be like, push your limits and try new things. Cause I didn't try hurdles until my sophomore year. And when I started them, I literally hated them so much, but then I just kept pushing my limits and it ended up working out in the end because I was a state champ. Um, the message that I would give to anyone coming to do track is to try everything. Cause you never know what you're gonna like. Like there's so many events in high school track that aren't in middle school track. Like I throw the javelin and I didn't know that I was gonna like javelin or be good at it. And I grew to love it through the four years that I did track. Very good, excellent. Hey Tyler, you're up. Uh, let me unmute you, go ahead. Yo, okay, so a legacy that I have to leave for my track teammates is don't have any regrets. Uh, I don't think that you should leave your senior year regretting anything you ever did, even if everybody fails. Like, that's just the thing that happens. Are you laughing at me? Yes, you did. Everybody fails at something, and you, you will have failures in your life, but you shouldn't regret not being able to complete. You failed at, but you should learn from it. And uh, I, I'm leaving my senior not regretting a single thing I did, and I don't think anyone else should either. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Louie. Um, what, what's your legacy that, that you want to leave? Um, don't be lazy. Cause I was probably the laziest person on the team and, um, listen to the coaches. Cause Very I, good. I, I love it. I love it. And, and, and Matt, Matt, Matthew, what's your uh, message or your legacy that, that you want to leave? Uh, I kind of want to leave behind a legacy of like just times that like guys can chase. Cause I knew when I came in the program. Like, there are always, like, times from other guys previous to me, like, I'd chase down. And to, like, now be one of those guys that has, like, left these marks for these guys to chase is kind of, like, that's why I want to leave for, like, the next couple, like, years of runners. Very, that's a very mature comment. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm going to, uh, uh, we're going to start wrapping up with, um, I want to have the coaches uh, see, see if they want to have any parting uh, thoughts. I'll start with uh, Coach Fenley. Uh, do you have any parting words of advice or anything else you want to share with everyone on, on, on the call? Yeah, um, I just wanted to say that I, I love you all. Uh, I miss you all. Uh, it's been one of my great pleasures working with all of you and coaching, with all, coaching all of you. And I'm just going to miss all of you next year. It's not going to be the same. Uh, I do wish you all the best. You guys are going to do so well. I know it. I feel it in my soul. And I will hopefully see you guys soon. Thanks. Hey, Coach Lund, I'm going to unmute you. Do you want to have any, uh, you want to share some of, of your thoughts? Uh, hold on. Hold on, Mike. Hold on, Mike. I'm trying to unmute you now. Having a hard time unmuting you. Here we go. Mike, can you un un unmute yourself? There, we there go. you go. All right, perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll try not to be too long. I want to thank you, Ron, for this. I appreciate it. I'm sure the kids do. I would. I want to thank uh, Coach Grant and Coach Benelli for welcoming to the team and for letting me have such a uh, such input uh, to begin with uh, it was great i'm gonna miss you guys all of you some more than others <laughs> and i mean that kind of in a in a good bad way izzy knows no no names mentioned but izzy knows what i'm talking about i really do i think you guys are gonna do great i loved watching you guys even I loved coaching the ones that I did. I didn't coach everybody, but I loved them. And uh, I, yeah, I just love these kids. And it was it was a great year for me. Um, that's for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Uh, Coach Grant, 
you got you get you got the last slot here. Oh boy. <laughs> well, uh, first off, uh, today is the date of the ECC championship. I'm not sure if all of you guys were aware of that, so it's kind of fitting that we actually got to do this on our championship day. Um, and I want to thank Ron for putting this together. Um, I, I just want to say how proud I am of all of you. Um, you know, and, and I'm just very appreciative that I got to play a part in preparing you guys for, uh, you know, what's next in your life. So uh, really appreciate that. And it's a huge. Okay. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate uh, every, everybody's time here. Um, in closing, I just wanted to thank everyone for participating in tonight's Salute to Seniors meeting. I also wanted to, again, thank our sponsor, Soundrunner, for their generous contribution of the two gift cards for uh, each for the boys team and the girls team or combined, however you, you want to work it. Uh, from all your comments tonight, uh, I know that you are ready to achieve success in all your next endeavors. You, you're, you're a special group of uh, seniors and I can tell that from what the, what you've been saying as, as well as the uh, coaches' comments. Um, and it's been great watching you in the uh, meets over the past, uh, uh, past seasons. Again, I appreciate your efforts, your time, and uh, best of luck to everyone. Um, and that's a wrap for tonight. I appreciate it. This is Ron Knapp from My Sports Results. Uh, thanks again. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Ron.